Getting you ready for the Kentucky Derby this weekend. It's Armin in the VAC 104.5, the team. You're home for New York sports. And our buddy Andy Serling, TV analyst and handicapper for Naira. You can find him on Twitter as well, at Andy Serling. Andy, good afternoon. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How you guys doing today? Hey, we're excited about the ponies this weekend. This this derby has 20, uh, the field has 20 horses in it. Is this the hardest race to handicap because of the size of the field? I'm going to say yes, since I very rarely pick the winner. I'm going to say it's an impossible race to handicap. <laughs> there you go. Whoever comes up with the winner is a genius. <laughs> a lot of people are Which suggesting. Includes me. Oh. <laughs> a lot of people are saying that this is one of the better uh, the better Derby fields in recent history. Is that true? Yeah, I think it is. Going in, it's it's a very deep field of quality horses. You know, there have been a number of Derbies, especially recently, where there really has been a dearth of talent, and it's just not the case this year. There are a lot of good horses. Whoever wins this race is a very, very good horse. Andy Serling of Naira with Armin in the back on 104.5, the team you're home for New York sports. And as you look through this this field of horses, who are a few that like jump out to you instantly that may have been missed by the random public like myself? So much of the majority of the discussion of the race is centered around American Pharaoh that I think a lot of good horses have been sort of forgotten about. And American Pharaoh may well win this race, and he may turn out to be the greatest horse of all time, but... It's a lot of hype, not particularly based on everything he's done on the racetrack. It's a lot about what he does in the mornings. And I just think he's a horse that's supposed to be about 5-1, to one, that's going to be around 2-1. to one. So for me, you have to bet against American Pharaoh, even if you think he's one of the most likely winners of the race. And horses like Upstart, a New York bred that we saw a couple times in Saratoga last summer, you know, he, he, he's a very dangerous horse because he's been forced to run outside of his comfort zone recently because he's a deeper close. And because he's been out at Gulfstream and it's a more speed favoring track and his competition were speeds, they put him close to the pace and he still ran very well. I think he's a dangerous horse. I think Frosted won a word memorial when they got him to rate and they got him to rate more comfortably, and now they'll get a faster pace. He ran the best race he's ever run. I think he's a very dangerous horse. I'll give you a goofy long shot to throw in there, Keen Ice, the kind of horse for Dale Romans that's going to run the race of his life in the Derby and maybe get fourth at, at, at 80 to 1. So, you know, those are some horses I'm looking at. I just think you've got a situation with American Pharaoh where you're forced. I, we're all looking for value, whether it's the first race at Saratoga or it's the Kentucky Derby. And I think you're forced to play against American Pharaoh if you're looking for value. I want to talk about the uh, Belmont Stakes uh, here in a few minutes, but I want to ask you for this weekend for the Kentucky Derby, where can we find you both on television and on the World Wide Web? Well, I mean, you know, obviously you can watch. I think if you're up in, in upstate, you can watch on, on the OTB networks. But the great thing that we're doing now on Naira.com is we've made things very, very easy for everybody, especially if you like to watch in HD. Um, we're offering the races. All the races we're running in New York are streamed live now. You can watch the pan shots. You can watch the head-ons. We've got great cameras that have angles all around the track, in the paddock, on the track, all day and night. You can, you can turn it on. You can see a camera on the roof at Belmont in the middle of the night if you like. Um, it's pretty exciting stuff, actually. But uh, the Naira.com website's really great. And also, you can bet through our Naira betting site Ooh. right on Naira.com now. So it's very easy. You should sign up and uh, bet this derby and bet our cards. I mean, the racing's going to be terrific here. And as we head towards Belmont Stakes, you can get Belmont Stakes seats. You can go to BelmontStakes.com. You can check out Naira.com. Because what's going to happen is somebody's going to win the derby, and everybody's going to be talking about him as a triple crown winner. And suddenly, all those seats are going to be gone, and you're going to be calling me. And I'm going to tell you, you can't get Get seats from me. So go to Naira.com or BelmontStakes.com for seats. Armin is is a little, you know, he's a little bit ab- above bro- board. He's a good guy. He doesn't he doesn't wager like I do. <laughs> so <laughs> really? he said I can wager at Naira.com. Now, um, what am I wagering on? I mean, you know, you told me I can bet. I should bet against American Pharaoh just on principle. But what, you, how am I cashing? Here's what you're doing. You're gonna, you're going to key up, start and frost it. And you're going to even use any logical horses you want in those first two spots. And then you're going to find bombs like Keen Ice or International Star to get third and fourth if you're betting tries or supers. Um, you look for some value with long shots in the third or fourth spots. Um, but I, I'm looking at horses like Upstart and Frosted. If they're, they're one, two in this exacta, I can guarantee you I'm going to make a lot of money. And I think there's a real opportunity to do that. And we've also got 12 races here at Belmont today. So we've got a lot of opportunities to make money. In fact, the last two Belmont winners Tonalist and Palace Malice are squaring off in our Westchester, which is run fairly early in the day in the sixth race. So while you're getting ready for the Derby, you can bet that race. Oh, I love it. So, so you got my and whole day for me. Oh, they're both going to lose. Both Belmont winners are going to lose. Confrontation is going to win. 
I, you know, that's the one thing I've always I've always said about you. I wish you were a little more stern in your opinions. <laughs> Listen, it's a game of opinions, you know. As you know, there's nothing wrong with being wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Andy, in regards to the Belmont uh, Stakes Festival as well, wh- tell us about the changes that have been made out there. Well, you know, we've added an enormous amount of stakes to that day where we're giving out over $10 million in purses. The Met Mile is run right before the Belmont, and that's a million a quarter, and that's going to be maybe the race of the year, the Manhattan, um, the Just a Game, the Acorn, gone and on and on, the Ogden Fifths, which looks like it's going to be a matchup of Beholder coming back to face um, Untappable last year's three-year-old champion. That's a great race. So, you know, it's easy even become a day of racing, it's almost like, you know, a midway through the year Breeders' Cup. So even if for some reason there isn't a triple crown, hopeful, there's going to be sensational racing. And obviously there have been an enormous amount of um, guest enhancements made here at Belmont in an attempt to, to offer just about anything that anybody could want. And all that stuff's available on, on BelmontStakes.com. And, 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 you know, whether you're, you're, you're really looking for the triple crown winner or you want to appreciate the racing or just be here, there, there's something for everyone. So I hope people are able to check that out. Good stuff. Naira's Andy Serling with Armin in the back. Check him out on Twitter, at Andy Serling. Go to Naira.com. Uh, bet for the uh, races this weekend. We'll check you out on Channel 12 as well. And Andy, I know it's a busy weekend for you. Thank you so much for spending time with us today, man. I really appreciated it. Well, I appreciate it. Anytime, I'm, I'm happy to come on with you guys. You guys are great.